what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to a water to a water a water really terabyte a warner <laughs> to another episode of the last kingdom man season two episode five is here today you already know i'm recording this on a totally different day than you're seeing it so don't worry about it just know it's probably happy monday to you guys um so yeah man um so utrid is back in the service of king alfred so man he manipulated that situation cool as hell though i'm not even gonna lie alfred you know and we all can make legitimate arguments about what's going on in the show right now what we agree with what we disagree with we can all make arguments um my thing is, you know, I, you know, somebody was talking to me, they, they're like, um, I don't even remember what the comment said, you know, it's just certain th things are happening. And I get why Alfred, Alfred uses certain situation. He has the power. It's like, it's like you, you know what I'm saying? It's like Alfred is like a slave to the crown. You know what I'm saying? I understand that reference. I think somebody put that in the comment section too. It's like he's a slave to the crown. He can't, he has to do these things because of his kingship. You know what I'm saying? I think he, he does um, love Uhtred to a certain point, but he it's like things keep happening that, that not necessarily put Uhtred in the best spots. And he has to use that as an advantage to manipulate. You know what I'm saying? Does does he have a heavy heart doing it? I don't know. I can't say that for sure. Cause the, as I said, Alfred is one of the the most complicated characters in the show. You can't you can't tell a lot of times what's going through his head. He's extremely intelligent guy, but at the same time, is like he makes incredibly stupid decisions sometimes. It's like, dude, you're king. Do whatever the fuck you want. If you like someone, you should treat them. If you love them you know that Uhtred is not the type of person who's gonna kill somebody who doesn't deserve it he just doesn't do that he's he, Uhtred let me see who has Uhtred killed that didn't deserve it I mean you could make the argument that he turned on the um that he joined up with the Vikings um Scorpa uh um and killed you know those those dudes that um from the with the king and stuff like that those guys were saxons right i mean you could make you could legitimately make the argument um for that i mean i guess that was the only time that i would say but which did they deserve to be killed no in that circumstance i think yes he did go overboard there but all the other circumstances a priest Definitely deserved it because he was manipulating Guthrid and also um, he was manipulating Guthrid and also the the things that he was doing, forcing Lady to marry against her will and all of this other stuff. Brides get given away all the time. I get it. Range marriages happen all the time. I get it. But I don't think I don't think um the Saxons used to do that, like force a woman to marry somebody. Um, against their will like I don't think that was a custom of theirs you know maybe they did it but it wasn't known you get what I'm saying so um, even for force against your will is more like father daughter situation where it's like you will marry him so that we can get this advantage and create this alliance or something like that of the sorts um, but I don't think but <laughs> I don't know. I'm explaining too much. <laughs> I'm explaining too much. Um, women weren't exactly seen as equal back in the day, even by the English. So I can't say for sure. Maybe it is. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know for sure. But in any case, guys, let's jump into this reaction and I will see you guys for the review. All right, guys. Wow, that was amazing to say the least. It was amazing. I, I, I'm, you know, halfway through the season. They closed up a lot of things, and now in episode five, three years later, they're seeing that there's a plan for Uhtred to become king, 
king of Mercia. Wow. So they, they, uh, so Alfred and Uchi gonna have a falling out. I'm with it, man. You, you know, I'm a, I'm a ride or die. Uhtred fan. You know what I'm saying? I'm a ride or die. I'm a brother of Uhtred right now. You know what I'm saying? Anything he about, I'm about it. I'm about it. I'm about it. I'm about that life right now. You know what I'm saying? Except for all that creepy stuff that just happened. You know what I'm saying? I'm all about it. You know what I'm saying? It's gang, gang, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Bust through shots, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm ready for the smoke. You know what I mean? So, um, so yeah, man, that was good to know. Um, I'm just hoping that there ain't, I guess that is what they've been setting up this entire time is just the, the war between these two. So if that doesn't happen, then I'm not going to be mad. But at the same time, this new storyline, they're going to have to play this very carefully of not letting out the information. London is being attacked by, um, by, um, Eric and, and Siegfried, right? So we're going to see how that plays out. If they win or they, they don't win, is it like something that can't be stopped? I mean, they don't have no defense at this moment because freaking Aethered is in freaking Wessex, so he can't do shit about it. Um, and if and they were not prepared, so he's definitely don't have nothing to go off to offer freaking Etherfud right now. So he's gonna lose that. Um, don't know if they're gonna lose Mercia overall, but if but if Uhtred decides to go against Alfred. Gonna see who has the better the better battle mind, you know what I mean? So I'm looking forward to that. Not a long um review here, of course. Not planning to do a long one today. I think that episode was pretty strong. I'm kind of hitting those points that I thought I was really interested. I'm happy for Bianca um and Thura. Um I'm happy for them. I'm not even going front about it. Like I'm happy for them. I'm genuinely happy for him because Bianca deserves some. He's an OG since episode one of the series. And anytime character, he has been that glue. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how he's going to feel about the whole King Uhtred situation. I wonder if he'll switch sides. You know what I'm saying? He'll switch and be like, yo, that's my dude right there. You know what I'm saying? Um, And they're tight, man. They're tight. They're like brothers, even though he's a priest. They're like brothers. And I think... Bianca has always tried to be that father figure for him because he lost his dad ever since he lost his dad he's always been that father figure as in protecting him I remember when he warned him um when he was you know when they came to see them I don't remember um I think it was like in episode either episode one or two in season one where he warned Uhtred of something before it happened it was you know what I'm saying? So I don't remember exactly what it was. It's been so long. Um, but you know, that relationship has grown even stronger over the years for them. So Uhtred is happy for him. I'm happy for him. Um, you know, keep counting him out and he just, but it looks like, um, I don't know, man, at the end of this, is Uhtred going to have any friends? <laughs> He's still going to have some friends, don't get me wrong, but, you know, wifey did tell him this is not the time for you to to go against King Alfred, man. But I guess in that respect, he might have, I think he's going to have to play this a certain way and she's just going to have to go along with it. I don't think she's for it because, you know, she wants to be peaceful and, and all that good stuff. But at the end of the day, sometimes when you need to fight, you got to fight. So I don't know. I think I think she's the type like whatever he decides. I don't think she's the type that will rebel like, say, uh, you know, the other wife. I think when it comes to 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 Giz um, Gizla, I think she's going to be like, OK, you're the husband. You say this is what we're going to do and we're going to do it. I think she's that kind of wife. You know what I'm saying? And it's not necessarily that she's giving away her position because, because Uhtred doesn't stop her from speaking. As a matter of fact, Uhtred treats her like she's a Dane. You get what I'm saying? Look at the difference between 
say a somebody like Elsewhere. Like if Alfred puts his foot down, she just has to go with it. She can't do anything. She can't say anything. She does have, you know, still has her, you know, free roam or free will, if you will. So, um, but still at the same time, you know, she has the utmost respect for Alfred when it comes to certain things like, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, in, in, in some places, you know, women can't even, they can't even offer an opinion. So I'm glad to see that the women kind of, they, they can do that in this series. Um, as I'm not here sh to, to shish anyone, to shish anyone, you know what I'm saying? When it comes on to women, women should give their opinion. It's just that a lot of, a lot of things and a lot of times when, when women say certain things, you really got to be like, that is so not logical, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you know, I think she respects Uhtred enough that if he decides to do this, she's not going to fight him on it. Like what happened with his, with his other wife before, like she was fighting everything that Uhtred was trying to do, you know, and they ended up not being together and, you know, but at the same time, you know, she was with him. She, she liked him and all this good stuff before but then you know it was a confusing time let's just say that it was a confusing time i think she's more attached to Uche, especially with now they have two kids i think she'll more go with whatever he's doing i think he'll tell her hopefully he does tell her because that wouldn't be right if he doesn't tell her i don't want him to go down that street again you know what i'm saying of losing another wife and then Remind. I'm tired of seeing. You need to pick somebody and go with it, man. <laughs> For real. Anyways, guys, leave a like on the video, leave a comment, and subscribe if you're new. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts, and I will catch you guys later, man. Peace.